What's up guys, CJ back once again for Kung Fu Night and it is time for more It's Always Sunny. We're on Season 5, Episode 11. Last time we had the Dennis System, absolutely amazing episode. And we had, um, I think the character's name was Callie? Callie? Kaylee? If you didn't watch the discussion at the end of last episode, I did talk about how that was, I think her name is Jill Latiano. Jill Latiano, she is uh, Glenn Howerton's wife uh, in real life. And she was also in community for a brief time. And that just makes it all the more hilarious. Turns out he did read Dennis her because they are together. Um, shout out to the patron that made that joke. That, that, that shit had me rolling actually. Uh, but... Yeah, if you enjoyed the content, feel free to leave a like on the video. Links in the description for Patreon tiers and leave your comments below. But I'm not gonna waste too much time. Let me get right into it. So then we turn around and what do we see? A scary homeless dude. And I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, I, I'm like, uh, you know, like, I'm like, what do we, what do we do? You know? Yeah, he's not even listening to this story. And then he goes, he goes, uh, I'll let you out of the stairwell because I have the key because I'm the security guard instead. <laughs> wow. 20 or so minutes yeah. and then a security guard came along and the security guard let you out. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's how you tell the story that makes it good. How you told the story was by far the worst part of the story. <laughs> what are you doing? Wait, no, 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 hey, 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 Frank. Get your greasy, fat sausage fingers off my touchscreen phone. Yeah, but I don't touch the sausage links. Why should I do that when I can let my shirt do the work? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Frank is an animal. I just got a part in an M. Night Shyamalan movie. Trash. I still hold it against him with The Last Airbender. Um, in that hairpiece the whole time? That's Bruce Willis, the whole movie. That's not the twist. <laughs> That's not the twist. <laughs> That's the twist. <laughs> I mean, I haven't seen this six cents either, but I've already had the end spoiled. It's important for all of us, okay? Yeah. This is an opportunity for Charlie and I to get M. Night our script. Right. Since when do you and Charlie have a script? Since you walked in here and said you were in that movie. We're great storytellers. Yeah. No, God damn it! <laughs> let's get to work! Oh, 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 let's get some beer, dude. We gotta get some yeah. beer. They write a movie, huh? Okay. Yeah, I mean, the gang is fucked with, like, film in the past. Uh, they had the whole news bit. Um, they had the smear campaign whenever they were running for office, whenever Dennis was trying to run for comptroller. A uh, trailer me. set up here. Oh, great. Non-fat, sugar-free vanilla, soy latte, three shots, no foam. Also, why don't you go ahead and let me in here so I can start my vocal warm-ups. Oh, bougie. Okay, you <laughs> right. says you're a featured extra. Okay, well, featured extra, featured actress. What's the difference? Well, go sit in the tent. Now. This tent? That one. Thank you. D sure? <laughs> fits the part pretty well here very quickly. Big, right? You know, his career's in a slump, and then they make him a star again. Oh, that is awesome, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so... Who is the most underrated actor of all time? It's Dolph Lundgren. All right, all right, so we have our actor. Okay, okay, that's great. Now we need a really great role for him. Okay, a muscular scientist. I'm into that. Right. As long as we don't cover up that body with no. lab coat. Focusing on the muscles, really focusing, on, focusing on the body top. here, Mac. Like that. Should we be writing this down? Let's get this down. All right, this is good. All right. Okay, what if this scientist runs around on all fours? Why would he run on all fours? It's a science experiment with a dog that goes absolutely haywire. So, no, we're not <laughs> making the lead of our big budget action movie, Half Dog! No, he's not a Half Dog, he's all... Then why are we casting Dolph Lundgren? That would be the twist. Dolph Lundgren would be the voice of this dog. So you're doing animated. Smell a crime before it even happens. Holy shit, dude, that's amazing. <laughs> Smell a crime before it even happens. <laughs> yes, dude! We are getting so many ideas here, here and it's just hilarious how it comes together. One big Dolph Lundgren's body. Oh. <laughs> wow. Then he lost him immediately. You just put things together. You sit back. You collect ten percent. You let the client do all the work. Dennis doesn't give a shit, right? Stop talking to me. Perfect. Okay, you can't just... <laughs> what is your name again? D. Reynolds. I'm your featured extra. Right. You're a corpse. It's a corpse. You lie there. The streets looking for brains. Nope. Kind of like a dead corpse. Just... A doctor played by Dolph Lundgren named Dolph Lundgren? Yeah! That's confusing. No, that's more confusing than making up an entirely new name for a person? That's gonna confuse people. <laughs> <laughs> I love his rationalization. Smart, ripped scientist played 
by Dolph Lundgren. But there is one critical element that's missing. It needs a sexual punch-up. We need to get a female lead character in there that Dolph can bang throughout the whole movie. Wait, whenever Dolph's not out busting heads because he smelled crime, he's back at the lab performing outrageous sexual experiments on her supple young body. Now here... <laughs> And when he delivers his lines. <laughs> missing from all action movies these days, guys. Full penetration. <laughs> there, guys, there it is. Show full penetration. All right. Back to the lab, full penetration, crime, penetration, crime, full penetration, crime, <laughs> penetration. And this goes on and on and back and forth for 90 or so minutes. Hey, definitely. Okay. I mean, sex does sell. I mean, they got that point right. I mean, you know, clearly um, a product of Dennis's mind here. There's a whole other industry for that. Hello. Check out this one over here. Does he look Indian to you? Or oh, like he looks... Yes, dude. He... Uh, it would be great to have an Indian in our corner, right? Oh my god, they're oh, not true no. storytellers. Or where, true, where are yeah. your parents from? Jersey. Oh. <laughs> All right, getting nowhere here. Oh, wow, you're so. You what? You're so. <laughs> is anyone in your family from India? <laughs> <Just doing that. laughs> yeah, what is... uh, they're right next to each other. It's, I find it hilarious how they're talking about him the whole episode, and then we end up with a. With a brown dude that they're kind of taking interest in. Wow, she's like Carrie. No, I'm working my ass. Corpses, let's go now. The plural corpses or just one? I need all corpses lying down. We are losing Holy life. shit! Let's look at this go. scene. Ma'am, I need you to turn over, okay? I need you face down, all right? Face down. Yes. Oh no, because then you won't be able to see my face. Face down or in the middle right. of bodies. Okay. <laughs> dead energy. Dead energy. Here we go. Dead energy. <laughs> awesome. That's nice. Where are you landing on the full penetration? Oh, I'm into it. <laughs> Big time. The engine says yes, so that's what we're doing. It's done. It's okay. Is it the engine? Um, so why don't you type out this whole movie real quick and we'll go sell it to Shyamalan. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't write. I'm a big picture kind of guy. If you don't write, you don't. Yeah, hello. Dennis, hey, we hit a wall on the pitch. This dude, is is he filming right now? Thoughts? My thoughts are that's brilliant. I think it's cool. Cut! Of course. Oh, shit, were you guys rolling on that? Yes, we were rolling on that. Do not... <laughs> Back over. Back over. <laughs> Let's roll it again, people. Oh, awesome. We get to see what it looks like. <laughs> but listen, man, if you don't let me answer it and solve my boy's problems, then the phone's going to ring. You can't have it both ways. <laughs> I'm sure they would have been gone already at this point if this was a real movie, but this is still amazing. Fire both of them, I'll take their spot. What? Done? You're both <laughs> what, 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 is that? what are you talking about, Frank? Peace. Is crap. I want to be an extra, lay around doing dick. Shyamalan twist. Oh, maybe you did, maybe you didn't, but I'll tell you <laughs> what. I don't care either. There's, there's your Shyamalan twist. Hey! Where is he, dude? Where's Knight? We got it. We got dude. it. You know, he has that. Mac does that walk quite a bit more often than I've. Uh, yeah, it's good with the body. Yeah, but uh, it's a lovable a little character. Little it's a lovable guy. You know, these are good compromises. Holy shit, that's a nose. That's that's what they were talking about, literally. Slumdog bastard twisted all of us. Oh shit, do we need I'm him to execute Slumdog a script? I need to watch yeah. that. Actually, you got the mother of all Shyamalan twists in my hand right here. <laughs> Horror movie about two men trapped in a garage stairwell turns out to be a security guard. Aha. Uh -huh. Instead. Uh-huh. That's our story, dude. Damn right it's your story, and that's why you two guys are going to be attached as producers. You're going to be the lead of the film. I am, really? No, you're not. Twist it again. Boom. Try and keep up. A lot of twists. G Goddamn sausage grease! Frank, <laughs> you froze my phone with your sausage greasy fingers! <laughs> Frank, you son of a bitch! Ooh, the makeup. Oh, and the sausage... <laughs> Cut! <laughs> oh man uh, all right so for starters i thought it was hilarious that d fit into the <laughs> the entitled hollywood uh personality right away she thought that she was right where she should have been going trying to just dive right into the trailer she has the big glasses um, she spit out whatever complicated order of coffee there as well, and, um, seemed, seemed very extra. <laughs> there, there are a few things that kind of jumped out at me. One was as soon as Charlie and Mac were riding uh, right off the bat, uh, I liked how both of their feet were up on top of the desk and they had their cups of coffee and what, uh, I would visualize is like a, 
stereotypical way that writers meet and try to come up with ideas and just try to have their brainstorming session and just, I don't know, that, 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 that seemed like what they were trying to sell and go for in that moment. I think the favorite part, I think my favorite part this episode was uh, the, the filming scene, of course. Um, I liked how we did get to see a perspective into what they were actually filming with the Serbian film, or the Serbian genocide film. And um, I liked how we could see what the viewer would see in the film in conjunction with how our gang would act and their crazy little antics. Um, definitely love how the sausage, uh, the, po the sausage in the pocket came full circle uh, in addition to Frank's sausage fingers. Yeah, for me, I think this episode was just kind of, mm, you know, middle of the pack. You know, there, there definitely has been, I mean, it's hard to kind of follow up the dentist, the dentist system uh, with this one. Uh, but yeah, I thought this one was just pretty much all right. Um, if there were any uh, of the jokes around the film industry that I kind of missed, um, feel free to throw them out there for me in the comments. I'll check them out and... I think that wraps it up short and sweet for this one. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share, and subscribe, leave your comments below and link is in the description for Patreon tiers. If you want to get well ahead or if you want to support the channel, but I'll catch you next time. All right. Peace. I want to take you for a ride.